All right, it's been a long time since I've made a video. Uh, life's kind of gotten in the way. But on this beautiful Sunday day, I decided to do a couple things with my buddy Tyler here. Who, what, your awesome 2207? I don't know anymore. I don't even post. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's one of the many kids in my life that make me feel young sometimes. And... He's at that age where all boys get to where they love cars and want to know everything about them and drive them and all that. So, uh, here we are sitting in the car. Um, we've done a couple things. Um, I took the, me and Tyler took the door pulls off. Uh, we're going to refab them and uh, fix up the panels and put them back on. Uh, as you see, my headliner is toast, uh, but it's kind of a big ticket item, so it'll be probably one of the last things I fix in this car. Um, and we are burning up in here. So here's the driver door panel. As you can tell, it's, it's overall in pretty good shape. I mean, if you look at the uh, change between where the door pull was, uh, you can tell. Not much difference in these panels. Um, my uncle decided to rip that trim piece off and destroy the top of that panel. So I'm going to rehab it in some way. I don't know if I'm going to use cardboard, foil tape, combination of, but we're going to add some gusset to that so we can reattach that panel. All right, Tyler. So that's the last thing I did, um, fix that reversing switch, I talked about that in my last video, and I also put in new struts. Um, you got to make sure you uh, get them for the correct uh, model, because if you don't, you can actually break your hatch. So here I am in my garage. Uh, it's where I've been working on stuff today. Um, my garage door opener, as you can see right there, it's actually older than I am. Uh, it's made in 1975. I connected a uh, smart setup to it so I can open and close via an app. But in the process of doing that, I also cut the wires to the buttons uh, so I got that fixed um, and doing so I had to pull the old Camaro out so there she be I still haven't put the uh, headlights back in I had the buckets wrapped instead of painted uh, because painting them was going to cost me about $500 I got the wrapping done by a local guy, pretty awesome, called Alpha Designs, for $150. Pretty good deal. And it looks good. Thinking about shooting this video, my first thought was, what have I done so far? What's the history of this car up to this point? Um, and so, that's what I'm going to explain to you right now. So when I first got this car, it kept killing the battery. Uh, within a few days, the battery would be dead. I mean, there would be 0 .01 volts on it. Um, and I had a mechanic come out and run a series of tests on it. And he said that the draw was within spec. Uh, its base draw was, I believe, 50 milliamps or less. Um, so I did some more digging and discovered that the alternator on these, uh, some of them have some bad windings that actually can kill your battery. So, I thought, what the heck, let's do it. We got the new battery, and ta-da, it doesn't kill the battery anymore. Or, new alternator, and it doesn't kill the battery anymore. Um, also, the uh, heat 
fabric on here had been ripped off completely. So I put a new one of that on that. I know it's not necessarily needed on these cars, but it sure makes it look nicer. I'm trying to go with the OEM look. So that's a nice thing. Um, as I stated, had a local guy, uh, runs a business called Alpha Design, uh, wrap these headlight buckets black. Um, I'm not sure how long I'll keep them that way. I will eventually get it painted. Um, but it gives that look that it needs. Um, as I showed, I also uh, got the uh, hatch motor fixed and new struts on the rear. Um, and my next step and my next to-do list uh, are those door panels. Um, I have to fix the uh, temperature gauge it's it's sticking and then uh, these marker lenses they're original they're old they're pretty cloudy and nasty so I picked up some new ones got them on Amazon I'll show you them right here um, they seem to be the ones everybody talks about so I said what the heck Here they are. They are Depot Those are the numbers. If you decide you want to get some, they make them left and right. They are not a universal fit part. Um, I prefer that OEM look all I got right now uh, I'm also waiting to uh, take this into the shop uh, I try to do as much as I can but this car is so low and I'm such a fat boy uh, that I think it'll be better off uh, I got a buddy who runs a local shop um, we're gonna have all the fluids changed out in it I'm going to also have them put those uh, marker uh, lenses in because I've tried and tried and tried. And I can't reach under that dam enough to even get to those bolts. Um, so that's all I got for now. Until next time, if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button.